data burn-in lets you display select metadata as a timeline-wide burn-in that is superimposed over the image in the viewer and is output to video for external displays. The data burn-in isn't represented on the timeline as a separate element, making it extremely easy to add or remove from a given timeline with a single click on the deliver page. Burn-in data can be extremely flexible. You can use it for watermarking review files with custom text or graphics, or temporarily display timecode clip names while editing, mixing, or reviewing. Setup is super easy. We'll open the data burn-in settings window by going up to workspace and then data burn-in. I've noticed it's grayed out on the cut page. Just switch to a different page. Along the top, you can choose project or clip mode. You can even combine them having timeline-wide settings and separate clip-specific settings at the same time within the same timeline. Turn on the checkboxes for the metadata items you want to see displayed. The first item is centered near the bottom. Each additional item you turn on is stacked above the ones already displayed. Click any currently enabled item in the list to highlight it, and then you can edit its parameters on the right. If you tend to use this feature a lot, you can save and load common burn-in setups as presets using the options menu. I could go on and on, but the biggest thing to understand here is that none of this stuff is actually being added to your timeline, and it's just one simple click to enable it or disable it when it comes to delivering. And then when you're ready to render out the final version, you change this one setting and all burn-in data is removed from the render. So that's burn-in data. There's not a ton to it, but it's extremely useful. Give this video a like if you'd like to see more short videos like this one.